Half a year ago, we launched the first ATEM CCU hardware controller in the world, and you see it right here. It has access to all CCU parameters the ATEM software control offers you for Blackmagic Studio cameras. Now we have the CCU light controller you see here, and this has been narrowed down to control Iris and Master Black and do it for four cameras at the same time. So you can see if I turn this knob, this knob, this or this, I control the iris for four different cameras. And likewise, if I turn the master black knob, it's the same, you're moving the master black parameters for each camera. If we look at the more specific features of the CCU light controller here, you'll find that just with the CCU controller you have coarse and fine adjustment of parameters. So as I move this dial, by default we have relatively large steps of the iris and master black control, but if I push the button then as I move the dial you have finer adjustments of the values. That's one thing. Another thing is that if you use these buttons up here you can actually group together channels. So by pressing and holding this button I now have two channels, that's camera one and camera two, and they will move together. So as I move this knob you can see that both of them are moving up and down together. And the same goes for master black control, they're moving together. So why would you like to do that? That would be if you want to generally raise or change the iris values of all cameras at the same time, you do it by grouping them. Another thing about these buttons is that they select an auxiliary output for that particular camera. This is useful for a CCU operator who usually have a screen in front of him and uh, on that screen he would like to see the camera he's currently adjusting. So uh, if we just bring up the auxiliary menu, uh, we have configured the unit to use auxiliary one. This can be configured through a web interface, but currently we have shown uh, camera eight on auxiliary one. If I press the first channel, you'll see it jumps to camera one. If I press the next one, it goes to camera two, camera three, camera four. So for each of these cameras, I'll now see the corresponding camera as I press this button. If I group them together, like holding, now it jumps to camera eight. This is also configurable. The idea is that on camera input number eight, it is not used for a uh, normal camera in production. It would be the multi-view output of the ATEM switcher, which is routed back into an input. And now that input can be brought onto one of the auxiliary outputs. Why? Because when we group two channels together, it would be nice to have the multi-viewer to see that parameters adjusted for two cameras at the same time are going up and down together. So this is uh, why we made this feature in, in this particular way. And finally, there is the feature that you can see program and preview status of your, um, uh, your switcher on these buttons. So if I uh, go to the switcher interface and for instance bring camera number one on program and camera number one on, on preview, then you can see on the controller camera one is blinking red because we should be careful to adjust settings for camera one since it's on program and camera number two is green because it might be on program in just a second. So this information is also passed on to the CCU operator with the CCU light controller.